Hey guys, Coach Mason here, back in the dish lab, ready to put in some work. Today we have a pretty simple but great drill for our post players. We're gonna work mostly with our back to the basket and work on some of our fundamental quick moves, but we're also gonna incorporate some counters to those quick moves. If you can master these moves, you're gonna be a really great post player. Let's check it out. So post players, we're gonna work on our quick move or our go-to move, all right? For this, it should be your hook shot over your left shoulder and your right shoulder. So, as a post player, I wanna make sure that I catch the ball, I stay low. As soon as I catch that ball, I wanna go over my left shoulder, use a glass, right hook, all right? Same way, I wanna be able to use both hands. If I'm going over my right shoulder, I'm gonna pivot my feet, go over my right shoulder, left hook, all right? It's important to have a quick go-to move. All right, if you have this, you can score quick on the offensive end, and then also moving forward, this helps you with your counter move, all right? If your defender knows that you have a quick move that you can go up and score right away, they're gonna be playing you for that. And as soon as you hit them with that a couple of times, they're gonna come up and press, and that's when you can use your counter moves, which we'll work on later. So post players, we're gonna stay with our quick go-to move, but we're gonna add in a setup dribble. Now the setup dribble is extremely important because it helps you get your defender on their heels, on their toes, moving a little bit. Defensive players wanna always block shots and they wanna get still, so you wanna get them on their toes, get them moving a little bit left and right, especially if you wanna use your quick go-to move. Now, for me, the quick setup is just a simple dribble, either left or right. So if I'm trying to do a left hook over my right shoulder, I'm gonna set him up with a dribble to the baseline, spin back, hook shot over the left, or I might set him up with a dribble middle, spin back, baseline right, all right? So you can still use your quick move, but now you're giving them a little bit of a setup, getting them moving, getting them on their toes a little bit. It'll help you get your shot off a lot better. All right, so the last part of this drill is your counter move. Now the counter move is extremely important because eventually your defender is gonna figure out what your quick move is. And if you master that quick move, that counter move is gonna work even better. All right, so for us, we worked on our quick move over our right shoulder or our left shoulder. As soon as I go over my left shoulder, I wanna sell that pump fake so that defender goes to try to block that shot. Then I'm gonna step through and I'm gonna finish at the hoop. Likewise, you can switch it up and go the other way. It's extremely important to master this as much as you do your quick drill because it's gonna be important moving forward in your basketball career. If you can master this, you're gonna be a great offensive player. Now luckily I have the dish here with me so I can do this drill as a post player all by myself. We're gonna check it out and see all the different things you can do and then we're gonna put that to work. Let's check it out. So we worked on our quick move or our go-to move, our setup into our quick move, and then we worked on our counter. Now these are pretty simple moves, but if you can master them, you're gonna become a great offensive player and you're gonna be able to keep your defender on their toes. All right, it's very, very important that you get in the gym and you continue to work hard. Luckily I have the dish here and it was able to help me do this workout all by myself. All right, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel our Facebook, our Instagram, and then also our Twitter. And always remember, train hard, train smart, and train with a purpose. Let's get it, baby.